everybody this is 22 tiger dude here and i'm here to review low riders so low riders is directed by ricardo de montreal and the film stars gabrielle chabaria damien bezier Theo Rossi, Tony Revolori, and Melissa Bill Noist, and Eva Longoria. So Lowriders tells the story of Danny, who lives in East Los Angeles, and he is a graffiti artist. He loves to do graffiti, but he gets himself into trouble because of him doing graffiti all over the city. He's now forced to help his father with this Lowrider. Danny finds himself in the middle when he's stuck between his father and his ex-con brother and Danny not only finds himself stuck in the middle but he also has to find himself as being an artist and who he wants to be does he want to show the world what he's really all about or does he really just want to keep it very hidden so when I went to Lowriders I was actually very interested in this film I've seen the trailer at least a couple of times in the theater and I remember going wow this looks very interesting. And so now that I've seen Lowriders, I could definitely say that the movie does not disappoint. It's a very, very well-made movie. It's a very well-crafted movie. But the movie is more than just Lowriders. You know, cool cars, cool styles. It's actually a very good story about family. Like, the theme of this movie is family because in this film you know we're following Danny who is this graffiti artist he loves to do these murals all over the city but then we see his father played by Demian Bashir and we meet his brother who was an ex-con you know his brother faced eight years of prison he just got out and he sees his brother for the first time in so many years and we see the father and the brother they have issues with each other and you know I'm not gonna spoil anything regarding that but you do see the issues that they have and I thought that was explored very well let me just start off by saying that I do think that the performances here were really great from everyone honestly I thought Gabriel Chavaria I hope that's how you pronounce his name he plays Danny this graffiti artist and I thought he did a very good job he showed a lot of heart to the character and it was just very interesting to follow Danny because he's all about art with him doing the murals, but we also see that he's kept himself very hidden. Damien Bashir, I thought, did a really great job as his father. You see his father being this hardworking man, but then you do realize that the father really is flawed. You know, he's not exactly the best father, mainly when it comes to his uh, older son, the one that just got out of jail, and then the son you could see that he's actually not really a bad guy he does want to be there for his younger brother since he hasn't seen his younger brother in years and i thought the actor that played him did a very good job i believe it is Theo Rossi, who plays Francesco, aka Ghost. And the reason he's called Ghost, which is addressed in the movie, is because the father didn't mention to anyone that he has an older son. So yeah, that's where it leads to the whole, the father was not exactly the best father. Tony Revolori, he's also in this film and he is really good. I'll get into his character later on, but as far as like him giving a performance, he does do a very good job here. Melissa Bill Noyce, she's in this film as Danny's, I guess, love interest, you could say. They're really treated more like as friends in the film, but it could be kind of maybe hinted. And I thought Melissa Bill, Bill Noyce actually served a nice purpose. She's the one that is telling Danny about pushing yourself as an artist and really showing what you can be capable of as an artist. She could have been one of those, I guess, love interests that is just shoehorned into the story, but no, I felt like that she did serve a nice purpose. Like, sure, in the beginning we're introduced to the character, you could see it's maybe a little bit shoehorned, but it's like after that, I surprisingly found the scenes with her and Danny to be very interesting. And I thought how Melissa Bill Noyce interacted with Gabrielle Chavaria's character, I thought it was very well handled. She did a very good job. And Eva Longoria, even though she's not in here that much as Damien Bashir's wife, she is good for the role that she is given. They don't 
show these characters as being perfect human beings, like there's no flaws to them. That's not the case. These characters are flawed. When you watch the movie, they aren't necessarily horrible people, but they do make some horrible mistakes in their lives. And you could see that they try to get better in their lives. They're trying to move forward in their lives. They're trying to move past of what has happened in the past, but you also see some of their struggles to move forward. I did really like how the storyline of Low Riders was progressing. I thought the writers for Low Riders, Chio Hodari Coker and Elgin James, they're both the writers for the script. They, it's seen the earlier script according to IMDb, and they actually did a very good job of writing the dialogue for this film. They make the characters feel very real. I actually did feel like I was watching real people. The stuff with the low riders, when we do see the low riders, it's awesome. But surprisingly, it's not all about the low riders. It's about the family and forgiving your family, being there for your family family. Don't turn your back on family. Um, I thought th that was very well executed. And as far as the direction, I did think it was very well directed by Ricardo de Montreal. I did, I did think he did a very good job of taking me into the story, of taking me into this journey with these characters and seeing these conflicts that are happening between these characters. I did think he did a very impressive job. And the cinematography, considering this is not a very high budget movie, Movie. This movie has a pretty small budget, but it still looks really good. I was very impressed with the way this film was shot, to be honest. And I thought the dramatic moments in this film were very well executed. Like, there's a scene where Francesco is talking to his father. They're having their big argument, and Francesco, he is expressing his frustration with his father, why he despised his father and that one scene actually had my heart pounding. Now as far as problems do go with Low Riders, I do feel like Ivan Lagodia's character was very underused here. I wish the film could have used her more to serve the story. I get the movie wanted to focus more on the conflicts between the father and Francesco, his older son, and then Danny, his a younger son being stuck in the middle. I get the way I want to focus more on that, but even Lagoria, I wish that she had more of a bigger part. She was just in this film just to be the mother and nothing more. Tony Revolori's character, I personally was not a huge fan of. He just comes off as that boy that tries so hard to be a punk. His performance is good, but his character, I personally was not a fan of because he's trying to act all cool. He's trying to really blend in with the hood. And then the shift in his character, how all of a sudden he's part of Francesco's crew. Like he actually tags along with Danny's older brother's crew. And then when something dramatic happens, I can't spoil what it is, it's a garage scene. In that scene, something very huge happens. And then his character shifts all of a sudden to now being good. I had a hard time really latching on to his character personally. The story is a little bit predictable. Yes, you could see where certain moments are going with the overall storytelling. Also, there are a few situations that do feel a little bit rushed in my opinion. And I do think that there are a few times where the camera was a little shaky. In the beginning of this film, there is a chase sequence. These police officers are chasing after Danny and Tony Revolori's character and the camera got pretty shaky you know the camera work is definitely better after that but I felt like in that beginning when the policemen are chasing after the guys the camera was getting a little shaky there overall low riders is a breath of fresh air it is a very well crafted movie it does show us the culture of low riders and whenever the low riders are there it is really cool those scenes do shine without a doubt but the movie really at its core it's more about 
family that is about lowriders. And maybe for some people that could be disappointing. Um, for me, it wasn't disappointing. It actually worked. It's very well directed. The script is very well written. And all around, I think Lowriders is just a very solid movie. I'm going to give it three out of four stars. So you guys in the comments down below, let me know what you think about Lowriders. This is 20 Tiger Dude here, and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power!